When Prophet Solomon found out that the Karuba tree would destroy the mosque, the tree was uprooted. Then Prophet Solomon entered his mirab, then sat leaning on a stick from the Karuba tree he had uprooted, and began to remember God. The angel of death then took the soul of Prophet Solomon out of his prayer niche without being noticed by the jinn and demons who worked for him. The jinn and demons began to realize that Prophet Solomon was no longer among them after his body fell to the ground, as the staff that supported his body was fragile and had been eaten by termites for ten years.